Hello everybody, Sift here again with another Backpack Pals run, and today I'm going to be doing the Phoenix Revive build. So let's see how this is going to go, we found the Chief Walrus Tusk plus a, shot, um, a Buckler right away, so we already win the early game. And now we will try to force, uh, let's definitely get this, we're going to try to force a good old, as I said, Whetstone build. So uh, Whetstone Burning Blade. Uh, we found a whetstone and we also found inventory space. We're gonna buy these two next turn and uh, let's go on. And this here, the, the spiky shield should give us free wins early game. In general, the build is going to be just generate as much heat as possible, plus phoenix, plus the uh, corrupted crystals. We want to find four corrupted crystals. That is the idea here. Now, this guy has a hammer, so we should lose. Hammer in general is the, in my opinion, the most powerful early game weapon. We're gonna get slammed here and die. Three. Oh, we survived at one. Oh, we will die though. Unless they missed, they didn't miss. Fair enough. They had a hammer. That was extremely unlucky that we fought against the hammer as a first fight. But it's okay. We got our spiky shield now. Chance to prevent damage and can give us up to three spikes. So those three spikes just give you free wins in this game. We're gonna go with inventory. We're gonna go with uh, whetstone. And we're gonna roll into whetstone here. We have a 84% chance for common. So I didn't find it. Unlucky. Found inventory space. Yeah, very unlucky, but can't really do anything about that. We want to find as many things as we can. There is no more min-max than the piggy bank here. And this guy is a ranger. They have a pan. So they will hit with a pan into our spikes, hopefully. Ha didn't happen yet once, though. Uh, it happened once, but it's too late. We are low life and we don't have healing, so it's over. A second loss, off we go. Off we go. We get the counter, but we get countered from the getting the counter. So it is what it is. Uh, let's empower our whetstone into a hero sword. Uh, of course, you don't need to have the non-fire items inside the fire pit. Let's go inventory and roll to another redstone. Didn't happen, but found more inventory space. I could also go into the spikes. Double spikes in general gives you a lot of free wins against a lot of opponents. That's the main issue with rank, by the way. Uh, I, if I want to win, I should take these. But if I want to get the build I want to get, I should just force whetstones next turn. So don't get these. Uh, I'm forcing a lot in general, which uh, is not good for ranked and also doesn't show... If I know the game or not, we're gonna lose 22 life from that. I don't have healing like at all, but they have a double weapon build. So if the spikes somehow take over, we should somehow survive this. We They already overtook us health-wise and we don't have healing. So it's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. We're gonna lose this. Let's just go. Off to two lives we go. In case you're new to this channel, this used to be what we always do in this game. We always, we back in the day, I always used to just straight up go down to two life and then the run begins. I'm not gonna buy this because I do need to find the whetstones right now. Otherwise, the video is not a thing. And I just found a uh, crowd crystal, but let's still roll. Nah, I don't know. I'm gonna buy... Always, always buy things that are on sale because you can sell them back for the same amount. I'm gonna buy these two and hope for the best here. I think we're falling off a bit too much. They have a, a, a long axe double weapon build against the spikes. This is the thing we should be beating this time. Although they have a lot more healing than us. But three spikes, this does three to four damage, this does one to three damage. So all the damage they do to us, they get reflected back. So uh, unless the healing is that much that we're gonna lose from that, I think the spikes should save us. They also have heat gain. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's a race that we're winning, that's what I'm seeing here. And we won, very nice. Off into the wins we go. Boom, I would say we buy the corrupted crystal next because that's gonna give us any fatigue fight win. Let's roll maybe once for whetstone. Didn't find one. Let's actually keep the things as they are. And let's hope for the best. I could have bought the inventory by selling the garlic and whatnot, but no. And now a double weapon build. They also have spike shield, which is bad for us. Uh, but they also don't have healing, which is good for us. As uh, this is now just a race. And because they have a double weapon build, we should be gaining my spikes faster than them. Let's see how this goes. None of us have healing, as I said. But we have cropped crystals, so that means fatigue is with us. Yeah, look at this roll. We had six fatigue. Seven fatigue, nine, and one more tick, and we win. Very nice. Corrupted Crystal gives you wins in the fatigue fights. And we found the Phoenix. So I will definitely buy the Phoenix. It does 15 to 20 damage and takes 12 life away. Uh, yeah, so we lose more life than them. But we're going to also use all our heat to re revive. So that should give us a win. I would say we go with this. And the Phoenix now is a bit too expensive. But it's okay. I'm gonna buy inventory space. Phoenix joins next turn. Let's roll into... I would like to get a whetstone though. I found a hammer. I need a, I need two whetstones to get the burning blade. Because I obviously... Wait, wait, wait. I will buy this. Because this is gonna pay for itself. Also, always buy piggy banks, by the way. Because they cost three and you can sell them back for two. So as long as you buy them and then don't do anything. Same goes with the stone. As long as you buy them. I could have sold so many things and got the phoenix actually. Eh, whatever. 
Um, this is a good build that's gonna beat us most likely. They have a lot of healing. We have almost no healing. We do have two spikes to somehow carry us. The Corrupted Crystal might somehow save us and carry us too. They have energy issues, which is good. So Fatigue kicks in right here. And now we hope for... <clears throat> Yeah, Fatigue kicks in, and now we hope that they survive enough for the Fatigue to actually give us a win, because it's taking more damage from them. Ah, one more tick! No! One more tick, Fatigue was at 11. And now, every single fight is gonna be a guaranteed win, because if it's not, then the video is over. Uh, let's sell the stone. Actually, no. There, actually, I can sell these three for three, and then a flame. The, what I, I try to get is the chill pepper, and I would say, you go, you go, you go, and you go, and we get the chill pepper. Shield Pepper heals us and gives us heat. Heat is important because I want the Phoenix to be gaining damage. Corrupted Crystal, I would prefer it to be on the ground so it gets more damage slowly. And also, this is a flame item inside the zone. Yes, I would like to flip these. And you guys can just go over here so we get more damage. You can go over here too. Yeah, this isn't the fire item actually. And the attack speed goes to the Phoenix and the Burning Sword. Where should the attack speed go to... I would say the Chili Pepper, or the, I would say Corrupted Crystal should get the damage. And uh, I'm definitely going to go with Draconic Orb because I don't want to deal with spikes. <laughs> and uh, let's go. I want to find four Corrupted Crystals, by the way. And uh, as many Chili Peppers as possible. And let's say this goes. And we're going to be the Revive Healing build. It's a Hammer... We're dead. It's over. The run's over. <laughs> I do have a Revive Healing us. I mean, the Spike Shield might carry us. I already got my three spikes right away. Uh, I do have a Revive with the Phoenix. So I do have more lives than they have. And we won. I thought we were going to die, but we won. And we got the revive backpack coach. Nice. Let's see the coach lost. And we're gonna go with the build item dark lantern. So this thing says, start of battle lose 50% health and before a defeat, uh, reincarnate with half health. So you get the health you lose back and become invulnerable for two seconds. So it's really good. And then on reincarnation, deal five damage for item for fire items on the thing connected and eight inflict eight debuffs, which is a big amount uh, for each dark item. And I already have one dark item. Uh, so the idea here is that we're gonna revive at least twice, right? One from the Phoenix and one from the Dark Lantern. So uh, that's the that's the, the main crux of the build here. I would like this to be here though. So right now it does just a bunch of damage. Mm, this should I should reorganize for this to have four fire connected to it. Definitely buy this, yes, and definitely buy this. Roll into whetstones. Didn't find one. Whetstones. I mean, the chance of us finding whetstones is non-existent anymore. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. I need this to be connected to four flame items, so I would like this to be here and this to be here. So this connect four items and one fire item. Very nice. Yeah, very nice. Let's go. I really need to get the... Really need to? I mean, I would like to get the wet sounds. Not really need to. This is another dagger build. We are playing with spikes. We are at half health, as I said. It's okay, we have spikes. We should counter the dagger. We're gonna get the first revive. They got blinded a bit and we are immune. We have the fourth... Yeah, we won. Easy enough. Easy enough. I need more corrupted crystals. That's what I actually want. Uh, do I want the phoenix to get the damage attack speed? I would like the corrupted crystal and this flame item to get the attack speed. So that means it should be up here. Right, it should be here. Which is not really possible right now. I guess I can just do this. Yeah, and this can go here and just a random flame down there. Done. Easy enough. Uh, roll them into hopefully more corrupted crystals. Lifesteal. Uh, stamina pack, yes. Uh, and I don't want the lifesteal, no. Let's roll them. Chili peppers would be nice. Roll them again. Another corrupted crystal. Very, very, very nice. And even more attack speed. That's also nice. I would like to put the attack speed here, I would say. But once again, doesn't really fit. Uh, but as you know, it does fit in reality. Oop, there goes gravity. Uh, let's go like this and like this. And we're good to go. And our corrupted crystal coming in. That's gonna be a big difference maker, by the way, the second card to crystal. Because it's gonna apply an R8 debuff to the opponent. I'm still sticking to these. And we also do 20 damage when we reincarnate. So that's also nice early game. This is a buffing build. Once again, too many weapons against the spikes build as us is gonna be a um, uh, self goal on them. Boom, we just revived once. And now the Phoenix revives coming in in a moment. They already got five poison. They're gone. They're gone. Easy enough. I would like to. Do I want to get a second Phoenix? I don't think so. I think I just want to get more heat gain. So uh, let's roll them. Please give me corrupt what I want. Uh, Max, do I need this? I think we're good at two. I don't care about vampires that much. Yes, and yes, we high rolled like crazy. So right now we're inflicting 16 debuffs, uh, 16 debuffs on revive, which happens twice. Once from Dark Lantern and once from the Phoenix. 
Nice. This was a very good shop coming in. Uh, this is a, uh, a fencing, fencing reaper build. Okay, as long as... Oh, they have resist... The, the first thing fired. They got debuffed a lot. The Phoenix revive hasn't happened yet. They're gonna get fired a bunch of buffs again. 12 ice. Come on. Come on. And we won. Oh, no. Whoa, almost lost, but we won. Almost lost, but we won. 12 ice did a difference maker. I mean, all of these are a difference maker. They were a fencing, fencing rapier, which is pretty immune to blindling. Because when this misses, they get luck. But still, we somehow survived. Spikes is definitely helping, man. Okay, we're obviously gonna go with the Corrupted Crystal. And also, we're gonna definitely go with this damage. Uh, but I would like it to be here. Nice. Another flame. This can go wherever. I would like to buy the Shield of Valor, honestly. It's better than the Spike Shield. And I'm gonna obviously make the Flaming Shield, which isn't here. It's actually here. Which is 3% uh, on attack. Not range, not melee attack, just attack. 3% chance to prevent 14 damage and take 0 0.7 stamina. And when I get shielding, which I don't really get, deal for damage. That's irrelevant. Do I want to do the transition? I mean, the spikes definitely help. I'm really thinking about just doing a dual shield build, as simple as that. So I would say we sell three flames. No, 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 three flames is healing. We're gonna buy this for sure, though. And let's also buy this, as it's on sale. And uh, I'm not even gonna roll. Uh, I'm gonna actually roll once. Maybe I'm gonna find a whetstone right this moment. Nah, let's go. No, 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 no reason to throw one away. And this is a dragon's build with four weapons. Once again, spikes should carry us because they have too many weapons here. They took my spikes away right away though. Boom, first revive. They got a bunch of debuffs. 11 blindness. That's gonna really carry us. I have a second revive coming in in a moment. Boom, another a bunch of blindness. They're gone. Just like that, they're gone. I mean, I think this aspect here with the debuff is what's carrying us. I mean, look at this. Hit chance, 35, 40, 40, 35, 35. This here, by the way, says that if it misses, it actually hits you. So this obviously was danger for us. But it's okay, we still lived through that. And now attack speed, this definitely joins. Attack speed also definitely joins. Um, it would go, I guess, on the Phoenix? I don't even want it on the Phoenix. I guess on the Phoenix. I don't want the Phoenix to be attacked fast, I don't want to revive fast, is the thing. Uh, this can go down here. Yeah, this can go down here. This should be here. Yeah, the flame zone is a bit off where it is. So you can go like that. And now this can go here and... Yeah, perfect. Nice. And let's roll in again. And I found the last, final and best corrupted crystal. The last one is always the best one. I guess we organized time. This is getting bought as is. Because now I apply 8 times 4. That's a good old 3d6 debuffs. And if I apply like 15 blind, the pawn is gone. Uh, you know what? I can just start with a bit less... Uh, no, I cannot. I need to reorganize here to fit this. Because I'm not seeing how I can fit this otherwise. Done. Wasn't really that hard. So this is min-max now. So that means every time we revive, we do 20 damage to the opponent, which is very low. And then 3d2 debuffs, uh, which is very high. Like 3d2 debuffs is a lot. Especially if I roll like 20 poison. And now I just need to find a bunch of chili peppers. Because I want to be generating as much heat as possible. So that the phoenix revive is good. I definitely need the phoenix revive to be good. Uh, so we will need a bunch of heat generation if possible. And this is a Gloves of Haste get healing build. Okay, I mean, they don't have debuff removal, so the, 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 the more tight it, Yeah, look at this. 11 poison, 13 blindness. And uh, now what, man? Now what? I have another revive coming in. And boom, and 26 poison, 20 ice, you're gone. You are gone. 26 blind is insane, cold, and poison, 14. With 26 blind, yeah, zero hit chance, zero hit chance. They were unable to do anything to us other than the debuffs we got. Very nice. So we're gonna be weak against poison, by the way. Got my sun shield. So uh, when items gain shielding, deal for damage. Yeah, whatever. So right now we're very, very strong against weapon builds. Or in general, attack builds. Uh, reason obviously being that we don't generate... Uh, reason being that when the opponent attacks, they have a 30% chance to... We have a 30% chance to prevent for damage. And take 0.3 stamina away. And also another 30% chance to prevent 14 damage. And remove 0.7 stamina. So in general, we're really, really, really good against attack builds. A Jinxter Killer, I would say, is a very good spot is exactly on this one. We have, by the way, by the way, we have four Corrupted Crystals. Let's not forget the fact that the Corrupted Crystals, on their own, do something. And what they do is they apply, uh, what is it called? Corruption to the opponents. I don't want the Phoenix to be attacked more often. I think this is a very good spot for the, the Jinxter Killer. Yeah, I don't want the Phoenix to be attacked often. I want all the Corrupted Crystals to be attacked often, and the Anti-Spikes to be attacked often. And obviously my Blade, and the Chili Pepper. 
So the idea is, by the way, these things applying fatigue every 5.5, which isn't actually every 5.5, but you know what I mean. Um, by the way, I would like this to flip like that. I don't want the Phoenix to be attacked that often. I would like anything else other than the Phoenix to not be attacking often. Uh, yeah, these things are applying corruption. Means that if we get to the point where corruption kicks in, the opponent's gonna die very fast. They're gonna have like 10 or 12 corruption already. And that is that means 12 or 13 damage each turn. I, I'm seeing the Phoenix, but I don't have enough chili generation to go for a second Phoenix. I think that's not a good idea. On our inventory space that fits right here in the line. And then I would like to maybe get healing potions or something. Actually, healing potions are a really good idea because I start with half health. So I can just burst my health up very fast early game. Yeah, I think that's something I should do. Healing potions. Okay, this is a pan build in the making. It's a poison build or something. I mean, it's a poison build. It's actually full-on poison build, not or something. It's straight up a poison build. And here we just hope that we're gonna debuff them like crazy. Nine blind is not really that good. But we're still okay here. We don't have that much poison on them. We have too much poison to handle here, but we're gonna lose. Nice. And I got my second revive in time. Easy enough. This works out, man. This this works. And they even had a banner. I did not know this works. Whenever I'm fighting this thing, without the, thi the thing I am right now, I'm destroying it. I always believe... I guess most people don't play the Dark Lantern correct. I don't know. But this really, really works. Uh, we go with Potion Belt. And here I would say so that we don't lose from poison because I think my worst matchup by far is poison, in my opinion. So we're gonna go with the Divine Potion. When I ever hit 20 debuffs, I'm gonna cleanse 10 of them. Let's roll them. Uh, by the way, I can definitely get a burning coal here. Roll them. Another heat. This fits. Let's buy another heat. Heat is important, obviously. Uh, reason being that it's six more health, pretty much, through the Phoenix. So we obviously want heat. So each each heat we start with is I'm not gonna roll here. Each heat we start with is six more health down the line. And this is an anti-healing debuff build, so we should get destroyed by this guy. Good thing I just got the divine potion. I think this deflects debuffs, cleanse the debuffs, and inflict them on your opponent. Yeah, we're gonna get re-inflicted on my own. The potion is already gone. And revive number two, boom. And now we hope that we went while well, we won. Wow, this works! This works! It's insane that this thing works. I was never expecting that this is gonna work. Okay, we're still winning. By the way, I'm thinking it works because we have these things protecting us from a lot of damage. So that's nice. Fatigue kicked in. And they, uh, yeah, I mean, fatigue obviously carries us like crazy. Fatigue is doing so much damage here. Um, yeah, I mean, fatigue is doing the most damage, not a lot of damage. We just hope that the opponents can't play. Nice. And here we go for a second Shield of Valor, I would say. So we literally never ever die from anything. And I think, although it sounds like a stupid idea, it sounds like a stupid idea. I think it's a very good idea. Because if the opponents can literally not damage us, we're gonna guaranteed win from fatigue and the revives. So let's do that. Wait a minute. Does this fit, though, is the question. I mean, it definitely fits if I just do this. And this. It fits. We lose one damage from the whetstone. It's okay. I mean, like, who cares, honestly? <laughs> honestly, honestly, who cares? I mean, I could just do this. Yeah. Uh, but I need this to flame up. Well, we can just... Done. <laughs> Easy enough. Let's continue on. Nice, and we've got the perfect potion for us. Once again, the only way we can possibly lose would be from debuffs. So going for the anti-debuff should give us a free win. And from after a while. Uh, I would like this to go here now. Nice. This is the sun shield. I never got my burning blade, but who cares really? Who cares? This is still min max. I just need to make sure we're still min max. Okay, this is a dog build that scales. They scale in power. It's okay. 40 damage and 0 damage. They have a double shield of Valor build. Let's see how this is going to go. Revive number 1. Uh, they got a couple of poison. I think we're going to lose the second revive. It's not going to do that much. Unless we blind them so much that they can't even hit us. 17 blind is a lot. They cannot even hit us anymore. Nice, and we won. And we won. Man, the poison helps. The fatigue, the fatigue. The fatigue is the thing that isn't visible. That does the most damage. Yeah, this is the little... The secret uh, sauce is the four corrupted crystals. <laughs> 112. And by the way, if I find another Crystal Crystal, I'm buying that instantly. Because the Corrupted Crystals are exponential. The more you have, the better it is. And we found the Burning Blade. So uh, we buy this. We buy the Burning Blade. Which goes here. I don't know why I'm calling it like that. It, it, it reminds me of... Mm, I have said that before. Let's go here. Give me a second. Give me a second to reorganize the moment, I guess. Another... No, I don't care about those. 
this is a yes, but it doesn't fit. And because this is a quad here, I, I need a double attack speed here and a, a single one, a single spotter. I just need an attack speed or a single spotter. I'm pretty much done. Reorganize time so I fit everything correctly. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, right now, the piggy banks are not really min-maxed, but who cares? They just give us like four life or something, which is valuable for us specifically, but it's also not the end of the world if we don't get it. So um, yeah, I really don't care about that much. I'm gonna get my burning blade. Uh, I, the reason why I wanted to do this like that... Actually, do I want to give these things? Mm, in the next turn, this is gonna be more min-maxed. Right now, the idea is that items gain 12 shielding, deal for damage, and this thing is gonna give us a little bit of shielding, right? Three shielding. So uh, we might do the four damage here. <laughs> Crazy you but what I did by the way is because I realized that the corrupted crystals are doing the most damage I put the Torquilla one spot up so that it also hits the other corrupted crystal and otherwise we're really good We should not be able to lose from debuffs because right now I'm able to remove 30 debuffs Right if you have at least 20 debuffs cleanse 10 and then this is gonna fire that so that's 20 And then if I for some reason get another 20 debuffs then I'm gonna cleanse another 10 And then also we have two potion belts that says gain around the buff a bit irrelevant though Let's go we should be winning most fights. Okay, it's a vampirism build. So that means they have a lot of healing. Once again, if I can blind them like crazy, that's done. They do gain luck, but we have a Torquilla. No, the luck is enough. Okay, they have too much luck for the blind to function. They have empower. We have 21 hits, so we're gonna revive in a decent amount. And now fatigue kicks in. Ah, we lost. Okay, fair enough. We got beaten by Uzagi, which. Uh, fatigue did not do enough damage, I guess. Yeah, 171 was not enough. Uh, even with this much defense, they still were doing so much damage. Mana Thirst did a lot of damage, uh, specifically. This thing had 16 to 18 damage. Any block would have prevented most of that. I mean, imagine, three shields and still not enough to block all that damage. Anti-spikes. I wouldn't really say I need anti-spikes. Now I would like to put these back like that. Nice. Uh, yeah, and let's also put a burning coal on this. Let's roll into what? What's the plan now? What's the plan? I guess I want chili peppers, man, honestly. On what? <laughs> okay, uh, let's get the attack speed and anti-debuffs. Do I care about anti-debuffs? Do I care? I don't think I need that much anti-debuffs. I mean, if the opponent is very heavy into debuffs, then it's gonna be a slow play. And if it's a slow play, then we should be winning anyway. I think it should be like this, by the way. The 10% attack speed on these is more important. And anything else, and I would like... Nah, that, that is not really gonna function. I would like this bird to be down here, or just the attack up there. Nice, so that the bird fires faster. Piggy banks, for two more turns, you know what? I think the time has come to sell some. We have seven coins. You go. Come on, you go. You join. Wait, this or this? Where would I put that, though? Do I care about Torquillas? This is a very decent spot for Torquilla. If I buy this, I'm selling the shield for sure. The spiky shield. I'm not really sure if I want to do the thing I'm showcasing right now. Although the fatigue is doing a lot of job. And also, you know what? We're going to go with this. And the idea is the following. The idea is I want to remove luck. These things remove luck. Because if I remove luck in a sizable amount, then opponents should not really be able to hit us. That's the idea here. I want to blind them. I'm, I'm a very defensive fatigue build. Let's roll into maybe finding another um, Corrupted Crystal as my final item. Didn't find one. I'm gonna... Next turn, I'm gonna literally roll all my money into Corrupted Crystals. Is what I'm gonna try to do next turn. Yeah, let's go. That's the plan for the next turn. Corrupted Crystals is the most damage we do. Okay, this is scaling build, but it has to do... Well, let's see how fast they scale. Uh, we're blocking a lot of that right now. Uh, the more it takes them to kill, uh, the, to scale, the faster, the easier it is gonna be for us to win. Oh, they removed a lot of debuffs. So for, I have 40 heat here to revive with a lot of health. 43, even better, 248 health here. Yeah, look at the, the 26 fatigue, man. 28 fatigue there at the end. They had 28 fatigue on them <coughs> when fatigue kicked in. 229 fatigue damage, Phoenix did a bunch, Burning Blade did a bunch, and Double Axe did a bunch. So I'm gonna now... Heavy uh, force roll into either chili peppers. I'm taking back what I said. Either chili peppers or corrupted crystals is the play. So those two are the things we want to roll into if I can do so. Bond one. Let's roll them. Uh, by the way, piggy bank's gone. Roll them again. Uh, we're heavy forcing what I just said. Heavy forcing. Okay, obviously we're going to buy the final inventory space. Heavy force. Heavy force. No, another phoenix. Could work out. 
Because the first Phoenix revives us with like 200 health. So the second Phoenix is going to revive us with 150 health or something. We do generate enough heat here for that to matter. Uh, I would sell the Sun Shield to buy the Phoenix. And it's going to go right here. Or here. Should I go for another Phoenix? Now the issue with the Phoenix, and that's the trap. You might say, oh, you're going to have another revive. Yeah, but those revives are going to happen a lot faster. Because both of the Phoenixes are going to take 12 health away. So we're going to drop health extremely fast. No. No, no, no. We're forcing what I said I'm going to force. One vampire is a bit too late, though. I could get a... No, force, force, force. I said forcing. Forcing means forcing. Forcing means forcing, and we found it. So forcing means forcing, but it's too late. Sun shield for seven. Trade the sun shield for a corrupt crystal is the question. In general, the answer is no. And I think I should stick to the general answer here instead of yoloing like heavy yolo it. Yeah, I think I should not do the trade. It has to do with what the opponent is going to be. But I'm thinking the only thing I can lose to is burst. Like, and burst is either daggers, which is a lot better to sun shield, or it's going to be dragons, which once again, sun shields better. So we're not going to lose against a fatigue build or something. So let's go. And I'm going to decide in the beginning if actually I believe that we should have switched. And I think I decided correctly because this is super burst. This is uber burst, actually, so double shield should carry us here. Yeah, look at the shields just popping up and down, and we're still getting crit for 18 and 13. Zero, 12, 26 and 2. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, still alive, still alive, still surviving. They have a lot of scaling, they have a lot of things going for them. Boom, first we have just kicked in. We can only hope that I'm gonna get like 40 to 80 heat, uh, 60 heat here before we die. They're dying, they're dying, and they also have their debuffs. I have my sac fatigue just kicked in, they're gone. They are gone, my boy, they're gone. And I even revived at the end. Easy enough. And the choice, I think, was correct going for the shields. Fatigue kicked, we beat them easily. They they were playing the classic guaranteed crits. Uh, Steel Goober, double shielding too. So they were weak against... I don't know. By the way, sun shields are insane. I'm a bit sad that you cannot see... The blocking they do, because it, it just gives you the shielding that you get. It doesn't say... Yeah, there, there is no choice for you to be able to see the block. Dark Lantern healed us a bit. The, the Phoenix didn't even count here at the end. <laughs> the game didn't count. Oh, it did count at 300 here at the end. And they died from the 20 damage explosion from the Dark Lantern, which is such a joke. And they even got 23 blind here. With 23 blind, did the blind actually prevent them from being able to play perfectly? 23 blind? Yeah, 45% accuracy on the bow. 45 here, 45 here. Yep, and it would only got worse for them because they do not have any luck gain at all. No, they do have two luck gain from the flute, but I had double gems to kill up. So this was easy. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching. And see you guys. Wait a second. Yep, and see you guys around.